In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the wheel, which is part five of the miniature train project. So the easiest way I've found to make this part is actually to make this section first and then revolve it around. So we're going to start our sketch, and this time I'm going to start it on the XZ plane. And I'm also just going to turn this just so it shows it uh, the same way kind of that's in the image. So what I'm going to do first is make a rectangle. So I'm going to go from the center, and for this rectangle, I'm going to make it, so you want to go from the center. So this little point right there, that's what's being re represented by this line. So one inch, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and our dimension for this line is going to be a quarter inch. All right, and we're going to need an arc with a center point because we want to line up the center point right there. Go here to here. And the reason why I just added that in is for this little section right there. And then this line I'm actually going to turn into a construction line. That way when we revolve it around, um, this line is ignored, but we need to keep it in for our dimensions. Next thing I'm going to add in is another rectangle right here. And we need to dimension it from here. Let's see, so that's a quarter inch. And it's from here to here is 0.75. All right, and this one, if we look at where the line is placed, from here to here, it's 0.125. Right, and I can see that there's some edges that have fillets to them, but we're going to add that in after we revolve it. So we can finish, revolve, so we want this section, and we want to revolve it around this line. That line that I just clicked on, we could have turned it into a center line, but I just kind of forgot. Um, so you can do that if you want, you don't have to, it's up to you. All right, so what I'm going to do now is add in our fillet. So we have four edges that we want to click on. And if we look at this number right here, it's not actually the same one that's on our work drawing, so we need to change that. So it is 0 0.03, oh, nope, 0 0.063. And then click OK. So the next thing that we're going to add in is this hole. So what we need to do is start a sketch right here, add in our point, finish our sketch, click on hole, and it automatically brings up the hole tool directly on the hole that we have placed in. So I know this right now goes through the entire part, but just to make it easier for us for dimensioning later, um, change the determination to through all. And our dimension for this is a little bit larger than a quarter inch, so it is 0.28. The next thing we need to add in is these little cutouts. It's a little bit easier if we look at the back over here. So we're going to flip this over to the back side, put in our sketch. And I'm actually going to have you put in a construction line right here, just so we have a line to dimension some of the angles off of. And for this, instead of making every single one of these cutouts, we're just going to make one, and then we can use the circular pattern tool. So it's going to be in the 3D model, but it also shows up in Sketch. So we're going to add in two circles. Oh, make sure that those are not construction lines. And make sure you also don't select any of these on the outside because it'll get linked into there because it's not exactly what you want. And we need to put in two lines 
So where these lines need to be right now doesn't really matter because we're going to have to trim them anyways. Okay. So I'm going to trim, 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 and trim a little bit more. Okay. So now we can start adding in some of the dimensions. So the dimension for this is the larger one. So we have two radius uh, here, here. This one is the one we need. So 0.63. And the smaller one is 0.37. And to dimension angles, you just click on one of the lines, click on the other line, then you can move it out. All right, so for this one, it's 15 degrees. And from here to here is 30 degrees. So we can finish, extrude, and again, we want to cut. And the distance, all, and then OK. So right now, we just have one of these, but we need six. So circular pattern tool. Going to click on your feature, click on what you want to rotate it around. And if you don't have your part right now at an angle, make sure it's at an angle or else you're going to have a hard time selecting everything. Okay, six. Yep, we have six items and okay. All right, so we only have this little piece to add on next. So what you can do is create a sketch right here. And I'm going to suggest you put this right here, even though it's technically going to go into there. Um, the reason for that is you're just going to have a hard time dimensioning it once it moves over. So from here to here, it's actually going to be zero. And then we're going to add in the diameter, which is quarter inch. And now is where you want to put in this dimension. It's just going to be hard to dimension because it moves over. So this one is 0.7. Okay, see what I mean by the center kind of vanishes on you. Okay, so finish, extrude, and it comes out of the part quarter inch. All right, so we have another portion on here. It goes right here. So I'm going to project the geometry just so that point line are, shows up so you can click on it. And the diameter of the next circle is 0.125. Finish, extrude that new circle, and it also comes out 0.125. All right, now we need to start our sketch. Okay, again, your project geometry. And this time we're gonna add a point. Finish, use the whole tool. All right, this time you're gonna need it to be at a distance. And your diameter is 0 0.0625. And our depth is a quarter inch. And that's our entire part.